Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide, and we are on October 8th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Dew, where we look at space weather, world weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, and everything else affecting humanity. Looking here, the last 48 hours on the sun, not very active, small solar flare, and as well, one small CME has ejected. You can see that bright flash, top left-hand side of the sun, and as well, the bottom right-hand side. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming imagery, big cresting sunspot here, bright region releases a B-class solar flare, sorry, C-class solar flare, and then the bottom outgoing, there was a small B-class flare as well. Last 48 hours, outgoing imagery, little earth to scale comparison. Plasma tornado there spinning. Another closer look at the events on the sun. Solar flare right there. And as well, bottom right hand region there. The southern hemisphere of the sun. Thank you, everybody, for almost 40,000 followers. We are so close. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in, subscribing, and supporting this channel. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss an update. Looking at multi-spectrum here, all of the events across our sun the last 48 hours, one CME and one solar flare. We also have a diminished coronal hole, which is now in an Earth-facing position. Seems to be deepening south of that bright incoming sunspot. Other than that, no major space weather events to talk about. We are expecting some space weather coming in as ISWA has put out another prediction spiral here. Most likely not going to hit us with that latest CME, but the last one from reported two days ago is on its way tomorrow. We are, we are also going through the Mercury retrograde starting today. And we're already seeing an uptick in seismicity across the world. Looking at a real-time solar wind for today, sitting at a very low 286 kilometers per second over the last 48 hours. Fastest it's been is 300. Looking at Lasco 2 and 3. Again, not much to show there either. Schumann resonance for today, data blackout it seems, after a pretty healthy spike earlier on. Amplitude of 6, quality of 6.7, power of 443. Four, Let's have a look at earthquakes for the last 24 hours across the planet. As I said, expect an uptick in seismicity during the Mercury retrograde, and we're seeing it now. We're going to start out here with the most recent 5.1 in Iran, and that's right on the plate line at a 10-kilometer depth as well. Malubo, Indonesia, 5.2 reported today. Tenmenbar, Indonesia, 4.4 and a 4.3 as well. 4.3, Tobilo, Indonesia. Kimb, Papua New Guinea, experiencing a 4.9 and a 4.4. Kokopo, and through the Fiji region, Look at all of these deep earthquakes, 4.2 at 486 kilometer depth, 4.8 rang out there as well. But then these ones here, 4.1, 539 kilometer depth, and as well a 4.3, 461 kilometer depth. And just after that, we saw a 4.9 in Keith, Australia, and they've been seeing many earthquakes as of late, as well seeing some activity south of Australia on the mid-Indian and Australian rift. As well, a 3.5 sizable earthquake to report Pahala, Hawaii today. Minor earthquakes continue through Alaska. Overlooking the United States here, Luther, Oklahoma with a 2.6. 2.7s ringing out through White City, New Mexico. Small swarm occurring here in Stanley, Idaho. And as well, minor earthquakes right up into Petrolia. Have a quick look here at USGS. There's been about eight earthquakes 
pretty sizable through Stanley, Idaho today. As well, minor earthquakes north and west of Yellowstone. Other than that, it's a bit concerning here when we see a small swarm so close to Mono Lake. This is the closest that I've seen the earthquakes get to the lake, and there are multiple. So definitely keeping an eye on Mono City, California, as Mono Lake is seeing a small swarm. And again, I haven't seen them that close to the lake yet. Also giving a quick update here on La Palma is the island has been rocking by some pretty sizable earthquakes today as well. They reported a 3.5 ranging up to a 3.9 earthquake today as lava is still fountaining into the sea. As well, minor earthquake here on one of the eastern islands of the Canary Islands. So maybe a little bit of pressure being released eastward now. I would say, look at all these earthquakes around Greece as well. Crete, seeing many earthquakes all around there. And as well, we've got a stratovolcano. Volcano, volcano is showing signs of unrest in Italy. So that's another volcano to add to the volcanic activity report coming up this weekend. Seismicity coming back to Puerto Rico. 3.4 and a 4.8 here. Esperanza, Puerto Rico at 11 kilometer depth. Pretty sizable for the region. Watch for a swarm to come back. And very quiet across South America. San Antonio de los Cobros, the only place where we're seeing deep earthquakes. As well, Argentina, 4.3 here. Ishua, Argentina. South Sandwich Islands region, seeing a 5.1 and a 5.0 on either side of the Michael Volcano. So heads up and stay aware and prepared, my friends and family. We are a rockin', and just in time for this Mercury retrograde, we're going to see this increase over the next few days. Having a quick look here at the last seven days, lots of deep earthquakes recently, especially through Indonesia as well as South America. Increased activity coming to Australia. And as well, Indian Plate looking pretty stressed this week, right up into Greece. South America, still pretty quiet considering, so expecting something through the North American Plate into Central and South America. I have a quick look here at the most recent volcanoes getting updated. Most recent today with the Pacific Disaster Center reporting Nevadas de Chilean in Colombia. And as well, that volcano, volcano in Italy, Cadavor in Papua New Guinea, Suez and Ajima in Japan, La Palma in Spain, Sangay in Ecuador, Reventador in Ecuador, Sabincaya in Peru, Popo in Mexico, Nevadas de Ruiz in Colombia, Fuego, Guatemala, Shivalich in Russia, Luatolo, Indonesia. Era in Japan. And the list goes on and on here. Semis Nepochnoi in the United States. Santa Maria, Guatemala. So that's about 14 volcanoes getting updated over the past 24 hours. Stay tuned for this weekend's volcanic and planetary report coming up. We have one tropical storm to talk about. Lion Rock is alive, heading into Hanoi and Thailand this weekend. As well, there is another storm forming east of that. Definitely going to be a situation as quite possibly a Category 3 typhoon may be hitting the Philippines in the next couple days. Overlooking around the world, some pretty big systems developing, especially here in the North Pacific heading into Alaska. Very large low pressure system there. And that is part of the big polar vortex that is coming and is going to bring west, or sorry, bring snow from west to east across North America. I wanted to give you a quick show here, windy.com, the wind models for the next seven days, as there is quite a big system developing in the long range forecast here for next weekend. Pretty big system there for Alaska. 
strong winds and a lot of moisture will be wrapped up into that system. As you can see from the south there, from the equator, that tropical system is going to head north and straight into the atmospheric river. Watch as that big low pressure system brings down cold temperatures as well. We've also got remnants of Hurricane Sam heading into Iceland. And then look at the southern hemisphere, the systems that are forming here. My oh my. Gotta wonder where our new South Pole is. Big, strong systems here developing south of Australia. Getting ready to send summer back to the continent. Let's have a look at the five-day forecast brought to you by Media Earth and daily events worldwide. Starting out here, Ontario, home base, where we are a little bit above seasonable and as well very humid. The humidity has been locked at about 80% for the past few days. So we're still seeing some warm temperatures and as well scattered showers and lots of fog. Big system here is going to just miss Ontario in the long range. And then we've got this Northwest Pacific low coming in the long range, which is going to bring a lot of snow into Idaho, Wyoming, and eastward. Could be some very heavy amounts as far south as New Albuquerque, New Mexico. And as well along the coastline and most of BC will be seeing Cold temperatures moving in as winter is just around the corner and time is just flying by. Look at the transition of temperatures right across the country, but definitely cooling in the long range. Overlooking the Atlantic, big system developing and just missing Newfoundland might, might bring some scattered showers. Overlooking Europe, still got a low pressure system locked in the Mediterranean over Italy. And for the next few days, you're going to see some intense weather as it moves eastward, northeastward. High pressure ridge building over the UK and high pressure staying strong across most of Eastern Europe. And as I showed in the last video, the massive Russia vortex, which is still churning across the country. High pressure ridge building in behind that over the North Pole. Overlooking Southeast Asia, you can see tropical storm. Lion Rock, which is headed into Thailand and is right now affecting Hanoi. But then you can see another tropical system developing there heading across the Philippines and is going to do the same track as Lion Rock. Overlooking Australia, warm temperatures moving in this week, but then swinging back down as that big low develops south of Victoria and is going to bring in tons of rain. That is a deepening lower level low. As well, looking pretty rainy across New Zealand all this week. No major changes for Hawaii. You do have a system moving in later in the week. And as well, Gulf California, watch for a tropical system here to develop. East Pacific hurricane will be developing in the long range here and heading towards California, the Gulf of California. So heads up. California and New Mexico. South America, still watching for extreme weather right across Argentina and Brazil border here. Big low developing. You can expect torrential downpours and a lot of hail and lightning, which we've been seeing increase over the past little while. Increased cosmic rays. Overlooking Africa, Long-range forecast showing a low developing right across the center of Congo. 
but as as well you're going to be seeing some really warm temperatures across the continent going to leave you here looking at the northern hemisphere versus the southern pointing out the major systems affecting our planet today thank you so much for watching please share with a friend maybe we'll get to 40k together today and then we'll get that special live stream going up who knew with the do thanks for watching today stay aware and prepared stay young and have fun and get your morning due bye bye If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.